Now, children, we have finished chapter two, nutrition animals. So today we are going to have a quick recap of the topic we have covered. Now we have started with nutrition. You all know nutrition is the process of taking in food and utilizing food. Now this process of nutrition has five stages. They are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and digestion. Now coming to ingestion, the process by which an organism takes in food that is called ingestion. Coming to digestion, the process by which a complex food material is broken down into simple material, that process is called digestion. Coming to absorption, how the food is uh, the important nutrients which are absorbed by the body, the process by which these important nutrients are absorbed it is called absorption. Coming to the next assimilation, the process by which the important nutrients are incorporated into the body, that process is called assimilation. Coming to the last stage, that is ejection, that is the process by which undigested waste materials are removed from the body, that process is called ejection. Now, let us discuss digestive system in case of human beings. We are going to study digestive system under two headings: organs which come in digestive system and the digestive plan. Coming to the organs of digestive system, first organ is mouth or the vocal cavity. Inside the mouth or the vocal cavity, we have teeth, we have tongue, and saliva being produced by salivary gland. As you all know, the adult human beings have 32 teeth, and we have two sets of teeth with uh, teeth and permanent teeth. And beside this, we have four different types of teeth, incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Coming to the next organ, esophagus, which is a tube like structure starting from mouth and ending in uh, stomach. No digestion takes place. Though it is a part of the digestive system, but no digestion takes place in the body. Only the food is being pushed from the mouth to the stomach. Coming to stomach, it's a muscular J shaped organ located in the upper abdomen. Two important functions take place in stomach. One is mechanical digestion, and second one is the digestion with the help of gastric juice. Coming to mechanical digestion, as you all know, the work of the stomach turns the food into a semi solid material that is what is called mechanical digestion. Coming to chemical digestion, the stomach secretes a juice called gastric juice, which has got three components. One is SCL, one is enzyme, and the third one is mucus. SCL, the function of SCL is to make the medium acidic, and beside this is to kill any germs or bacteria which is present in the food. Coming to the function of mucus, since in SCL, which is a mineral acid having a pH of around 2, so to protect the wall of the stomach, the uh, wall is being covered by a slippery, by a mucus like material called mucin. And then here we have protein, digestive enzyme, especially vaccine. Coming to the next organ, which is a small intestine, it is a long tube like structure having a length of about 6 meters to 7.5 meters. But since it is a very thin tube with a narrow unit, that's why we call it that small intestine. Coming to the function of small intestine, it performs two functions. The process of digestion is carried out and completed in small intestine. Besides this, the small intestine is also responsible for the absorption of important nutrients. The absorption of important nutrients takes place by the blocking a light position called. Really. And then in small intestine, the sucker central of the intestinal juice is present, which completes the process of digestion. What I mean by that? Proteins are being broken down into amino acids, glucose are being broken down into, uh, uh, sorry, carbohydrates are being broken down into glucose, and fats are broken down into fatty acids and glycerol. Coming to the next organ that is large intestine, no absorption takes place in large intestine since it is smaller in length but more in diameter. That is why we call it large intestine. Digestion does not take place. Only function which takes place in large intestine is the absorption of water. Coming to the next organ that is rectum. Undigested food material is uh, stored in rectum, and then that undigested food 
materials removed out of the body to canvas by the process of ejection. Now, so we'll come to the digestive glands. In human being, we have three uh, types of digestive glands. One is called salivary gland. We have salivary gland present in the mouth. This salivary gland produces a secretion called uh, saliva, which is a thin, watery liquid, and mainly to contain an enzyme for salivary amylase, which is responsible for the breakdown of starch into amylase glucose. That is why the food after chewing sometimes you feel that the food is in taste. Coming to the next of the liver, which is the largest digestive gland we have in our body, and this liver is mainly responsible for the secretion of bile juice. Now, this bile juice gets stored in the body, which is called gall bladder. The most important function of the bile juice is in the emulsification of fat. That is the breakdown of fat. Into fat and we'll fall. Coming to the last digestive gland, that is the pancreas, which is basically a leaf like structure and is present beneath the stomach. This pancreas secretes pancreatic juice, which is, which is responsible for the digestion of carbohydrate, protein, and fat. And at the same time, this pancreas also releases a hormone called insulin, which is mainly responsible for coming in the so children, I hope by now the important topics of digestive uh, activities of human beings are clear to you. Now children, be ready for our PPT, observe that activity very carefully so the topic will be more clear to you. Thank you. Good morning children. Now we have finished chapter 2, Nutrition in Animals. So now we are going to revise important topics of the chapter. Let's start. Coming to the first point, nutrition. What is nutrition? It is the process by which the body takes in and uses food. The word nutrition is derived from a Latin word means nourish or to feed. Nutrition is the process by which an organism uh, takes in food and utilizes its food. Now, and what is a nutrient? A nutrient is a chemical substance in food which helps in maintaining the body. So, nutrition is the entire process by which an organism obtains energy from the food and that energy is then used for growth, maintenance and repair of damaged tissues. Coming to the stages of nutrition. The stages of nutrition are as follows. First one, ingestion. Second is digestion. Third is absorption. Fourth is assimilation. And fifth one is ejection. Coming to ingestion, a process by which a process by which food is taken through the mouth. It's a reflex action which is involuntary. That means this process cannot be controlled. And it is not under an, a wish. Now it occurs when the food is put in the mouth. Coming to the next that is digestion. It's the breakdown of food by the digestive system in preparing preparation for absorption and utilization by the animal. That is, in the process of digestion, complex food materials are broken down into simpler substances so that they can be easily absorbed and metabolized in the body. Coming to the next process, that is absorption. It's the process by which the food is absorbed in the form of nutrient, then it comes into the bloodstream of the body. Coming to the next stage, that is assimilation. It is the process by which the nutrients are used up or are incorporated in the body in the form of energy. Coming to the last stage, that is ejection. It is the process by which the undigested food material is removed from the body. Coming to the organs of digestive system, 
digestive system include uh, is studied under two heading one the organs of digestive system and second one digestive glands coming to the organs of digestive system starting from the mouth next is esophagus which is followed by stomach which is then followed by small intestine which is in turn followed by large intestine and lastly we have rectum and anus now coming to the parts of digestive system coming to mouth and pharynx mouth you all know is a uh, the first organ of the digestive system and this contain teeth salivary gland and tongue the food is being chewed by the teeth then it is mixed with the saliva produced from the salivary gland tongue mixes this saliva to the food and then the food is then pushed into the next organ which is called esophagus esophagus is a tube like structure which is connecting uh, from the mouth to the stomach it pushes the food from the mouth to the stomach by the action of peristalsis that is the movement of the walls of the uh, esophagus coming to the next organ which is stomach it is a process where the food is undergo digestion two type of digestion takes place mechanical and chemical digestion basically it's a j shaped structure located in the upper abdomen here firstly the walls of the stomach uh, churns the food so that it convert into a semi solid paste and then by the action of the gastric juice which it secretes chemical digestion takes place now from here the food now comes into the next organ which is called small intestine now this is small intestine is a highly convoluted tube uh, which is having a diameter of about which is having smaller diameter but ha has a length of about 7 meters here the digestion takes place and at the same time absorption of nutrient takes place now this absorption takes place by means of finger like projection called villi next we have the large intestine from small intestine the food now comes into the large intestine in large intestine uh, the absorption of water takes place as such digestion has already completed in the small intestine so uh, digest absorption of water takes place so the food changes in undigested food changes into a semi solid material called fecus now coming to the next which is called the rectum in case of rectum the undigested food is stored in the form of feces and then this undigested food material is removed from the body through anus now as we discuss in mouth digestion takes place teeth chew the food grind the food and that is mixed with saliva esophagus as we already discussed it just pushes the food uh from the mouth to the stomach by peristalsis then as we already discussed in case of stomach muscular wall they seek out uh, secrete gastric juice gastric juice contain pepsin then it also contain hydrochloric acid and then it also contain mucus so as to protect the walls of the uh cells of stomach coming to the next that is the small intestine which has two uh, part duodenum jejunum and ileum specifically in ileum which is the second part of the small intestine here the absorption takes place and uh, this uh, because of the action of the enzyme peptidase and lactose final uh, digestion takes place and absorption occur in small intestine coming to the next that is a large intestine which has parts like colon and rectum only undigested food reaches here water is absorbed coming to rectum rectum is stores feces until it is ingested coming to anus this has the muscle to control when feces is ingested from the body that is the feces is removed from the body through this opening called anus coming to the next that is digestive glands in human being we have following digestive glands coming to the first one that is the salivary gland then we have pancreas then we have liver and then gastric glands and intestinal gland coming to the liver 
Liver is the largest gland in the human body. Reddish brown color structure. It produces bile juice. This bile juice gets stored in this greenish structure called gall bladder. This bile juice is responsible for the digestion of fat, for the breakdown of fats. Coming to salivary gland, we already discussed. Mainly, we have three pairs of salivary glands which are located in the mouth cavity. These salivary glands give out saliva which contain an enzyme called salivary amylase or tylen. This salivary amylase or tylen breaks amylose that is the starch, sorry, uh, breaks starch and starch then uh, change into maltose. Coming to gastric gland, we have already discussed gastric gland, the secret gastric juice, hydrochloric juice, uh, mucus and contain enzyme pepsin. Coming to the next important gland that is pancreas which is basically a leaf-like structure which is present beneath the stomach. This pancreas has got two functions that is exocrine as well as endocrine function. And when I talk about exocrine function, this pancreas give out pancreatic juice which contain enzyme trypsin, lipase and amylase and they finally complete the process of digestion. Coming to the exo endocrine gland, this uh, glands give out or produces hormone insulin which is mainly responsible for controlling the blood sugar level. If it is in less amount, the person suffer from diabetes. So children, I hope the topic is clear to you. Now, thank you for watching.